it's Miles again and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna talk about 10 things that every new mom or first time mom should know. Should I make a video on what to expect? Before we start, just a little bit of background about me. Background about me. <laughs> so before we proceed, I just would like to give a little bit of backstory, I guess. I am a mom. I have a three-year-old. I decided to make this video because I know how hard it is if you're a new mom, if you're a first-time mom, or if you're a mom-to-be. I remember back in 2016, 2017, I was researching almost every day on what to expect So once I have my child, and it really helped me. Research really helped me, but at the same time, you guys, be careful on whatever it is that you read or see or watch because sometimes it could give you an anxiety so just be warned but the things that I will be sharing with you hopefully will not cause anxiety because the reason why I made this video is so that I could help you lessen your anxiety and be more prepared once that little one comes along so for the first one the most important thing out of all the necessary things that you will be buying for your child will be diapers yes diapers 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 it's gonna be all about diapers unless of course you're gonna you know not do disposable ones but instead be more nature friendly and do cloth ones i salute you honestly i can't do it so i salute you but either way you'll need a lot my focus would be on disposable ones because that's my experience i never used cloth ones because i have no time for washing <laughs> I just don't have the patience. But I salute you moms if you want to go through with cloth one. I'll be putting on some links down below for you for cloth ones that is highly rated from Amazon so you can check that out. But for now, let's talk about disposable ones. So my tip would be to stock up as early as you can. Honestly, I started buying diapers. I wasn't even halfway through my pregnancy. I was probably like in my fifth month. Fourth month? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Huh. But anyway, I wasn't even like in six, seven months. So I started already buying because I know it can be very expensive once the baby comes along. And I used this formula on buying the diapers. So what I did was I would scour online and whatever clips and coupons I could find from the newspaper and then if I can find a really good sale I would go there and buy some diapers so I know one of the few issues would be what if the type of diaper will not work out for you what if the type of di diapers will not work out you know for your baby but honestly from the get-go from the start I knew I would be using Pampers I knew I would be investing on that brand and not you know Huggies and all those stuff so that's why I decided to stock up early but again you can always stock up with different brands if that's you know if that's what you like that you, that could work out too but again that's one of my tips if you want I'm not pressuring you to do it you can start stocking up on diapers and use the formula that I gave earlier so for the second thing that every new mom or first time mom should know is do not buy a lot of newborn sizes this goes for diapers and clothes so our babies they will outgrow them so fast the newborn sizes mine my baby he only used newborn sizes for a week and I believe he was on the not really smaller I guess in the middle middle range when it comes to his weight and height so imagine if you are on the middle to you know medium to large baby you won't be using them at all you have to think about that when stocking up with diapers or stocking up you know start buying with clothes unless of course you have premature babies they will last you a little bit longer but again not too much because our babies they grow so fast in such a little time you'll be amazed you guys you'll be you'll be amazed so again do not focus 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 what so again do not focus on the newborn sizes the third tip or the third thing that every new mom should know is 
maximizing your baby registry. It doesn't matter if you don't, you know, if you don't plan on having a baby shower. Whatever registry that you can find, try to sign up. Why? Because most of them will give you free stuff. Yes, I'm serious. If you're here in the US, Target, Walmart, Amazon, Bye Bye Baby, Babies R Us, I'm not sure if they're still, you know, they're still in business. But yeah, they're gonna give you free samples. And not just like a few, it's a lot. I remember getting a lot from Honest Company too. But I will try to find some companies and then I will put the links down below in the description box so you guys can check them out. So I can help you out also. I remember my first two videos in this channel was actually about free stuff that I got for, you know, signing up with different companies. You will have a lot of time now <laughs> compared when you have that baby. So you can do it now and then you can get free stuff. Who doesn't love free stuff, right? This is a great way to try out different products before buying. So that will save you a lot of money too. Also, once the baby shower is done, because they're gonna ask for a baby shower date, that's why you, you make registries, right? So once it is done, they're actually gonna give you, usually, in my experience, a 20% discount, 20 to 30% discount of all the items that was in your registry. So once it's once the baby shower is done, even though you know you didn't have a shower and you really wanted to buy all those things that you put in your registry, you can buy them on a discount. So it's a win-win, right? Another way to maxify maxifies? What? Another way to maxify maxifies! Why can I stop saying maxifies? Why? So another way to maximize that baby registry is to put all the things that you really want, especially all those expensive stuff. Because who knows, right? Some people might buy it for you. For example, a car seat and a stroller, they tend to get very expensive, depends on the brand. So you put them there and some probably would buy you that. You guys, just put all those stuff there because who knows some people might buy it for you and you'll save a lot of money so speaking of free stuff another tip for new moms especially if you're here in the u.s and you're gonna be giving birth in the hospitals ask for more diapers and all those free stuff that you will be receiving in your hospital ask for a lot of them that will save you money so what happened to me when we when I um, gave birth to my son, they were giving out, we had free diapers and the nurse was so nice. She was asking me if I need more and he would, every time she goes to my room, she would just give me diapers and diapers and diapers. So basically I did not even need to buy newborn size because they've been giving it away. So for future mamas, do not, you know, don't be shy, don't be ashamed, don't be embarrassed, ask for it, especially if, you know, you have insurance, you paid for that stuff, so, you know, you deserve them, get it. And not just the diapers for the baby, you need some for yours too. Yeah, they're gonna give out diapers for moms, believe me, so get a lot of it, get a lot of it. So for the next tip is all about baby clothes. So babies, again, they grow up so fast fast especially those you know little babies it's gonna be just like that you'll be so so surprised how fast it is although you won't be feeling it if they wake you up in the middle of the night moms honestly it's gonna be worth it and they're gonna be growing up so fast so consider buying them second hand consider you know getting hand-me-downs Do not be ashamed or starting to be ashamed because it's gonna save you a lot of money because honestly you're gonna need a lot of clothes with all the changing that you be doing did you know that newborn from newborn to three or five six months you'll be changing at least six times yeah six times so imagine the amount of diapers <laughs> but yeah and sometimes during those changes when they poop usually especially if you're breastfeeding their poop is gonna be a little bit runny a really really soft and it goes out of their diapers and ruin their clothes that's why most of the time you'll be changing diapers and clothes throughout the day so it gets really expensive if you buy them brand new so consider getting again hand-me-downs second-hand clothes so let's dive into a more mom-centered tips, I guess. So for the sixth thing that every new mom should know is 
set a good routine that works for you and your partner. So good routine makes your time manageable. Actually, that tip was from a friend of mine who is a seasoned mom. She has three kids, one, I think, five-year-old and twins that are three-year-olds. So I really trust her. So hi, Erleen. She also has a vlog. Uh, she also has a YouTube channel. So you should check her out. I'll be linking them down below. Thank you for that tip. I honestly agree with her. It's a really good tip because when the baby comes, it's just sometimes it's just chaos all over. Just, you know, so many things to do, so little time, and the baby's just so demanding. So a good routine really helps. It really helps with your sanity. So for this next thing that every new mom should know this is from my sister-in-law who is also a seasoned mom she has three kids now so thank you Ate Che, for this tip she said and i totally agree don't ever forget to give yourself some me time even if it's just for a few minutes like to just take a bath comb your hair maybe put on makeup if that's your thing you know just even for just like 10 minutes spend 15 minutes a day just for you it really helps and I couldn't agree more. So those 15 minutes is just reserved for you. Meaning if your baby cries, as long as he's fine, you know, he's just crying because he's just crying because he's, he's a baby, then, you know, give yourself some time. Finish your bath, your toothbrush or whatever, but basically your me time. And it will really help you to be a better mom when it comes to your children. So for this next one, this is gonna be a little bit of funny, kind of ironic but this is really true honestly i wish i wish i just listened to this tip because people have been especially moms have been telling me this but do not listen to every tip from other moms because every babies are different what works for you might not work for them that is so true this tip is actually an, again from your lean thank you your <laughs> You know when you're a new mom, especially when you just have gone through labor, basically you're just overwhelmed with everything because you have a newborn and you just had gone through a very painful, you know, experience in your life. So it's so important to trust your instinct. That's your baby, guys. That's yours. <laughs> So no one knows your baby well other than you. And do not be fooled by all those perfect moms that you see. And speaking of perfect, this tip is from a friend of mine too. Ate An, thank you for this. This is such a good tip. So another thing that every mom should know, do not try to be a perfect mom. Guys, you don't need to be a perfect mom. You just need to trust yourself because again, you know your baby more than anyone in the world. You got this. It's gonna be natural. It's gonna be hard and kind of painful, especially with you know healing and breastfeeding if you're planning to breastfeed. And with all the time that you'll be waking up in the middle of the night it's gonna be hard but it's gonna be worth it your baby's gonna love you so much because you love your baby so much too so do not try to be perfect mom all you have to do is be a sane mom that is the only thing that you need to be again a happy mom equals a happy baby another thing that I think is really important once you become a mom, a new mom, a first-time mom, is to find your own group. You find first-time moms or moms out there that you can trust, that you can relate to. So hi to my mom. She's out there. We actually meet once a month. We try to, but now we haven't, obviously, because of the whole quarantine thing. You need to find your own group. You need to find girlfriends that, you know, can relate to you. Again, that you trust, that you respect, that you believe, and you can meet every once in a while so you can both relax. You go, you guys can share whatever it is mom related, and it really, really helps. Our social interaction becomes a little bit limited when you have a baby because you know it's all about the baby now, and you don't have time, you're just so tired. But push through, guys, find your own mommy group. I am telling you you'll be much, much happier. I'm not sure if you guys realize it yet, especially if you've been a subscriber of mine for a while now. Most of my content for the past few weeks are mom-related. It's either after Mother's Day or before Mother's Day. So most of my May content, my content for the month of May is gonna be more on mom related because I want to give you know give back and help out moms like me too because you know we need our own community we need to empower each other and help each other each other out 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please do click that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my channel. I post about fashion, beauty, motherhood, and lifestyle. So if you like that, please do subscribe and click that notification bell down below so you'll be notified every time I have a new video. Thank you so much guys again and belated or advanced happy Mother's Day to all your moms or if you're a mom, happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!